Blessings and a very good morning to our brothers and sisters in Dubai, Al Ain, Sharjah, Abu Dhabi, and in the Philippines. As we celebrate our 30th year anniversary at Rejoice Christian Family, let's take a look back at some of the congregation's key highlights and achievements in 2020. Indeed, God has always been great and His provision has never failed. We thank the Lord for the gift of technology that allowed us to connect with our leaders, cultivate the Lord's teachings, and celebrate our milestones as a Christian family throughout the year. Today, let's take a look back at Rejoice RCF's journey into the new year. With the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic during the first quarter of 2020, the face-to-face -face contact among the RCF brethren in the hotel and other designated venues in Dubai, Sarja al Aden Umal Kuwait ceased after 13th of March 2020. Moreover, starting the second week of March 2020, a lockdown was declared by the UAE government, prohibiting the residents of UAE to hold events in the hotel and to roam around public places, except for buying food, necessary stuff, and day-to-day -day consumption in the house, going to the hospital for consultation, medication, and treatment. However, the above government and DHA restrictions did not serve as a hindrance for RCF to continue holding its usual Friday service and the Bible studies in, in the Dubai Mother Church and its different satellite churches. With the assistance and help of RCF multimedia team, Rejoice's regular Friday service and the respective SMCs in the different emirates were held by Zoom starting the third Friday of March 2020. The congregation will also be holding church services on Thursday to add some flexibility for our attendees. The activities continued without fail and we praise God for sustaining all of RCF's activities and for removing all the barriers and hindrances that may prevent the congregation from continuing its services for the Lord. On 29th of May 2020, a commemoration of the 12th year anniversary of RCF transpired and the said event became part of the worship service with a short anniversary program on the said day. Due to the continuous spread of COVID-19 virus and the adverse effects of the unseen enemy of the UAE's economy, three of the RCF's pastors in Umakwin, Abu Dhabi, and Al Ain went back to our country for the best. They left UAE in September and October 2020 and March 2021, respectively, prompting the RCF's Council of Elders to pray for the new church leaders who could take their place. With the leaders' persistent prayers, careful deliberation, and unified decision made on the prospective candidates, new pastors of the congregation accepted the Council of Elders' invitation in October 2020 for them to join the pastoral ministry. The old organizational structure of RCF was also revised, aimed at having unified walk in the Christian journey of the Dubai Mother Church together with all of its satellite churches the new organization set up took effect on the first quarter of 2021. Programs on equipping the brethren to be more effective witnesses for Christ were started since the year 2020 through the leadership webinar, Equipping the Saints, and lessons on RCF's mission, vision, and core values. Not only in-house what seminars were conducted, but also external ones, where its speakers, pastors from other churches, were invited to expound on topics that will be beneficial to the lives of RCF brethren. Among the external speakers invited were Pastor Joel Makatangay and Dr. Tess Makatangay, who expounded on Asawa Ko Mahal Ko on the 11th of December 2020 and Mahal Ko Anako on 12th of February 2021, respectively. The church also applied uh, church management, uh, which was conducted by Pastor Joel Makatangay last 26th of March 2021. On the 19th of February 2021, Pastor Rex Mendoza conducted a seminar entitled Fixing Our Eyes on What Truly Matters, Energy, Effort, and Entrollment for the Glory of God for the RCF's Adulting Ministry. Even equipping on technology to the RCF Brethren was offered by the Church last 20th February 2021, such as getting started with a trial conducted by one of our church leaders, Dexter Apple. Though there were no face-to-face -face meetings in second week of March last year, brethren have displayed their love and faithfulness to God in the area of giving. Needless to mention, we are able to extend assistance, particularly to the victims of Typhoon Ulysses, not only to our very own Rejoice Malala's Church, but to other churches as well in the Philippines, such as the Church of God in Iligan, 
Isabella with Pastor Darren Gaba as the pastor and Bethel Christian Assembly in Burgos, Rodriguez, Rizal with Ephraim Cunyano as the head pastor. Sa lahat po ng tumulong dito, maraming 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 salamat. Ang Diyos, ang pagsapala ng Diyos ay aming ginadalain sa inyo na kayo po ay patuloy na gabayan at buo sa kanyang pagpakala sa inyo mga buhay. Maraming salamat po. Kung hindi po sa inyo, hindi sa lahat, kung hindi sa Panginoon, ay hindi po naging matagumpay ang ating gawain dito. God bless. God bless. God bless. Hey Lord, ang bawat isa sa amin na nagbo-volunteer, we are here Lord to just uh, show to them that you really love them. We remember those who came. Kung ano man ang kanilang ibinigay, may it be Bible, pera, o ano man ito, Panginoon, Lord, we ask you to continually bless them. Maging sa amin na volunteer sa oras na to, lovingly we yield that, Lord, we yield sa calling mo sa amin na tunay na naririto kami ngayon. We declare, O oh God, the safety and the protection for you are here with us. To you, we give the glory and the honor and the thanksgiving. Thank you, Lord. This we pray in the mighty name of our dear Lord Jesus Christ. The church has also extended financial assistance not only to the RCF brethren who lost their jobs, but also the people outside of RCF who are in a needful situation. In October 2020, RCF Abu Dhabi was revived with the transfer of Pastor Darius' residence to the said place. All glory to the living God, for he made RCF Abu Dhabi, which was previously inactive, alive again to worship him, to serve him, to study, and to meditate on his words, and to expand his kingdom. Around 19 RCF brethren attended the batch 6 training of TMA Academy starting on the 17th of March 2021. Still ongoing and aimed at developing the believer's character, ministry skills, and obedience to the leading of the Holy Spirit. The training sessions are conducted twice a week. As RCF shared in the payment of brethren's tuition fees to the academy, it also aimed to develop and train more new, dedicated, and competent future leaders for the church. Since the start of the pandemic, RCF is battling COVID-19 through prayer. Needless to mention, the Epaphras ministry together with the, the Brethren in RCF satellite churches is having the 9 p.m. prayer interceding for those who have been afflicted with the COVID-19 virus. Some RCF Brethren were not spared from the virus, but by the generosity of the church to the members, not only materially, but also through intercession and prayer, all of them won the battle with COVID-19. All the highest praises and glory to God for this victory. God has always been good and faithful to RCF at all times because despite of the period of uncertainty being experienced by the majority of people nowadays, the bucket of rejoice has never been empty when it comes to releasing of financial help. And this act of kindness prompted by the Holy Spirit to its leaders also positively resulted to the winning of lost souls for the Lord. Finally, stewardship of time has been practiced effectively by the, by the leaders and members, enabling them to have a deeper knowledge of God's Word and have an intimate relationship with the Lord. The present pandemic did not bring fear and idle time on the life of ICF members, but rather brought them closer to God and leveled up their faith in Him. To God be all the highest praises, glory, and honor. Church, on behalf of Queen Andre here, we would like to take this opportunity to give our heartfelt thanksgiving to everyone in this church, especially our pastors, ministry heads, and everyone, all of us, church, for our endless and relentless efforts to serve the Lord. Hey, Andre? And not only that, we'll also like to extend our heartfelt thanks to the ministries who continue to work in the background, to the lives of our brothers and sisters who have committed to the Lord in making this event a success and something that we can all enjoy and share with our loved ones. Happy 13th Anniversary Rejoice Christian Fellowship! Fellowship.